What's going on, my PT peeps? My Walking Dead family, my fighters. I'm One Eye Bright, also known as PT. You don't know if I'm waking or breaking, but I'm definitely thinking about The Walking Dead Season 11 Part 3. We're going to break down the first look teaser trailer. Well, a scene, a couple scenes in it. Also, the Talking Dead preview of a scene with Carol, Judith, and Gracie. So, spoiler warning, if you're worried about spoilers, please stop watching now. But we haven't seen Part 3 yet. It's going to come out later this year, either August or October. We're hearing October, but we'll talk about that once we get more legit information. Now we see Judith looking at pictures that Kelly took of people around the Commonwealth. Judith is talking to Carol inside Carol's place. You see Judith, Carol, and Gracie inside the Commonwealth. And Judith asks like, why did you take these pictures? What are you doing? And you know, Carol's trying to get information, but she's trying to play it safe for the kids. But Carol being Carol is gonna try and find as much information about the Commonwealth as she can. She even says that we're trying to get information about these people to see what's going on. Gracie talks about Aaron is a good cook because Carol makes a joke like, oh, you missed Daryl's cooking. And Judas like, he doesn't know what he's doing unless it's connected with the campfire. And then Gracie's line like, my dad's a good cook. And Judith and Carol look at Gracie like, hmm, that's great. But we don't see RJ and we don't see dog. And a lot of people keep asking, is dog dead? No, we didn't see the dog die and the dog can't die, right? That'd be terrible to watch, especially off camera. But either way, Carol hears some commotion outside. She goes to the window and Carol being Carol has a look like she does in a lot of seasons where she looks out the window and she sees all these people with signs. And we know from the previous filming in Sanoi that they're like, where is Sebastian? We want justice. We want Sebastian now. We want justice. Pamela is a liar right there. You see the signs. So the Commonwealth saw the newspaper. The people saw the paper. Pamela is lying. But if you look through the crowd, you'll see Shira. And I believe the bald guy is Ramon. But we see Shira and Ramon coming towards the building where Carol lives. Carol is very smart. She's got intuition, obviously, as she looks out the window at exactly the same time Shira and Ramon come to their building. Carol, you know, she's smart. She's a survivor. She knows what she's doing, but she's going to feel like, okay, we're in danger. So we see a close-up shot of Shira and Ramon. And I was wondering when we were going to see these people again. We saw it early on in part two. And would we see these characters again? We definitely will early on in season 11, part three. But Carol knows that something isn't right. And you gotta trust your gut. She's got those paternal motherly instincts to protect the kids here. So she tells Judith and Gracie, we're gonna play the quiet game. Come on, pack your stuff up and let's be quiet. So Carol takes the pictures and I guess hides them in a drawer, or hides them somewhere. And then as Judith, Gracie and Carol are going to hide or exit the condo or apartment that they're living, they're Judith kind of trying to figure out what's going on, you know, and as you can see, Judith is clearly a little bit older in real life and taller. So I wonder how many time jumps we're going to get in the third and final part of The Walking Dead. But again, Carol says, we're going to play the quiet game. And as they turn, we see the door, it's locked, and, and that's the scene. But in the trailer, the teaser trailer, we see She-Ra inside that building. And I'm guessing it's the same building Carol has her kitchen knife and she's ready to slice and dice if she needs to. But I'm guessing and thinking that Shira and Ramon were sent by Lance to get Carol's help, not to hurt her. You know, when they show us this, we're like, oh, Carol's in danger, but Carol is the danger. And then in the teaser trailer, we see Shira and Ramon walking among the crowd and I guess going after our group because we see Jerry look back and then you see Gracie, Judith and RJ with Jerry. No Carol, I can't see Carol here, but is Shira and Ramon going after the kids and Jerry? And these are some filming photos where they filmed a couple scenes here for part three. You see Negan, but also you see Shira and Ramon behind Negan, which is kind of cool. And I can't wait to see Negan at the Commonwealth. This did not happen in the comics. As he left the area, went out on his own and wasn't seen till after the main comic ended, but we'll see Negan in the Commonwealth. People are wondering about the red coat. I think that's just a jacket because it's kind of cold. It's between takes. It was a little cold there in Sonoy when they were filming, I'm guessing, but you can see Jerry Carroll in Sonoy. Jerry's got the similar outfit that we see in the trailer. Then we also see RJ who has a similar outfit on. So it's pretty cool to see, you know, some of the scenes coming out from when we saw the behind the scenes filming stuff in Sonoy. Cause it was right there in Sonoy. If you've ever been there, you know, it's all open and it's hard to block off stuff because it's so tight and for filming, you know, people can see stuff too. So we see Judith and Gracie in the similar outfits from the scene that we saw from the Talking Dead uh, 
preview scene. So it's pretty cool to see, you see Carol in a different outfit here with Daryl. And I can't wait to see the chaos and the hectic nature of part three. And the cast and the producers and the showrunner are really building up the hype. And that's great. I just hope it really is exciting, epic, and rewarding, like so many things are being said about it. But ultimately, we're going to see Daryl not messing around at the Commonwealth. But it's Carol being Carol and Daryl being Daryl and the parts being the parts and it's going to be exciting. It's going to be happening one way or another and it's going to finish. So we're going to see what happens. Will Carol be the one to take out Lance? So also from the behind the scenes first look production video thing, I don't know what to call it, you see Lance with Carol. Lance is all bloody and I'm not sure where they are, but Carol looks to be helping Lance. Does Lance take out Oceanside or part of Oceanside? Does Carol know what Lance has actually done? Is she using him just like he's probably using her? Can't wait to find out, but let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below, guys. And that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all the love and support. Like, share, subscribe, support the PT channel when you can, however you can. The easiest way is to be a subscriber, liking the video, sharing the video. But either way, we truly appreciate the love and support. Stay safe, and as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah,